morning, I'm going to teach you how to give your final answer. How to give your final answer. It's the text, the talk, and the takeaway. The text, the talk, and the takeaway. The text this morning is Colossians. Colossians 4, 6. Colossians 4, 6. Let me read it. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Do you remember that game show, um, You Want to Be a Millionaire? You know, they could call and get somebody to help them and, you know, they have to work through it. And then, uh, you know, the the contestant will be sitting across from the host and they go back and forth and they'd be trying to work out uh, what was going to be uh, the answer to the question. And then they would always get to this point and they would say, is this your final answer? In other words, after this, you can't take it back. We're going with this. You either win or lose on this. You either ride or die on this. It, it's either going to happen for you or it's not. You can't call nobody else. You can't ask nobody else. You can't think about it. Is this your final answer? Well, as a believer, there ought to be some final answers in your walk. There ought to be some final answers in your walk. I'm going to give you at least three in our talk about the text this morning. As a believer, you should have the final answer of, I will live by faith. That's right. That's my final answer. I'm going to live by faith. Habakkuk 2, 4 says, the just shall live by faith. I'm going to walk uh, by faith and not by sight. And I refuse to live by my bank account. I refuse to live by uh, any discouraging things that are happening in my life. I refuse to live by how I feel, what I see, and what I hear. I'm going to live. That's my final answer as a believer. I'm going to live by faith. The second faith, second uh, final answer as a believer is I will love no matter what. I will love no matter what. We're in a world right now that is challenging a believer's love. Everywhere you look, there's somebody coming at you in some kind of way. And it's so easy to have a knee-jerk reaction to all of the things that are happening and say, you know what? I'm not feeling it. But a final answer of a believer is this. I will love irregardless as to what is happening. Here's what 1 Peter 4 and 8 says. Above all, love one another deeply, for love covers a multitude of sin, a multitude of faults. Above everything else, love deeply, one another deeply, for love covers a multitude of sin and a multitude of faults. As a believer, my final answer, you're not going to shake me. I'm not going to move. I'm going to live by faith and I'm going to love irregardless of what I'm dealing with. It was to say, you know, uh, love those who despitefully use you and say all manner of evil against you for you going to be blessed. Final answer as a believer. The third thing is this. I will learn from my mistakes. I'm going to learn from my mistakes. Second Timothy 2.15 says, study to show thyself approved of God. Proverbs 24.16 says, a just man falls down seven times and gets back up again. A just man or woman can fall seven times, but what? They get back up. Why? Because as a believer, my final answer is, I'm going to learn from my mistakes. I'm going to learn from my mistakes. So what, what's your takeaway this morning? Your takeaway is, as a believer, there's some things that I just simply have a final answer to. I'm going to live, I'm going to love, and I'm going to learn. The Lord be with you.
May his face shine upon you and give you peace. I'll see you tomorrow morning with Open Mic Manor. Make sure you share the manner. God bless you. Bye now.